I'd never seen our fancy new opening. Oh, I know. Why are we calling this the Sweet Pea Show? Because both of our recipes have peanut butter in oh, it. Oh, <laughs> I get it. Hi, I'm Larry Bly. And I'm Laban Johnson. Welcome to Cooking Cheap, brand new uh, yes. season. Wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, this is the first of a series of shows that we hope will entertain and amuse you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm amused, I can oh, tell you. Yeah. Hey, we've uh, getting some letters from around the world. Oh, world. The place. Says to the two happy cooks. <laughs> That's us. Welcome, welcome. Your recipes are so tasty and your way of presentation so delightful. Did we pay this person? Uh, wait, yeah, that we at our house are looking forward to your coming programs, both the food and the repartee. It <laughs> says here, you do need, however, to keep the address on a little longer. We'll be talking about that in a couple of minutes, yeah. by the way. And that's from Fran Miles of San Bernardino, California. And, it was just uh, out your way recently, darling. Beautiful. Uh, part of the country. And Twyla Cooper from Bradley, West Virginia wrote and Who? said, Twyla, Twyla Cooper Twyla. said, yes sir, you guys are totally and completely nuts. I love it. Wacky. You two are most definitely my kind of guys. Wacky Not a guys. lick of sense. Ah, yeah, ah. That's us. Well, just wonderful here. And then we had somebody else who was Frank Hundley wrote in and yeah. said, I have to say you two are the very best. I watch a lot of cooking shows and yours outdo the others a country mile. Mm -hmm. Your show makes cooking fun and mm, a pleasure. Yeah. Well, just so you'll know that we do have a balanced uh, <laughs> editorial comment Reporting. at the beginning of this uh, program. <laughs> this one says, Dear Cooking Cheap, I was sitting here watching the chives grow. Then your show came on and I fell asleep. Thanks. <laughs> Best morning sleep I've ever had in a long time. Sincerely, Will Hayes of Palmer, Alaska. Is that mm -hmm. where that is? Yeah. Palmer, Alaska. And uh, we would say hi to him, but yeah. he's never hey, awake. Hey, Will, wake up. Wake up, Will. Smell the roses. Baby. Glad you enjoyed right. the program and, so much. Uh, here, one of our viewers sent this in to us, uh, a little brochure called an hour with the Bible, and Will will be sending this out to you, so instead of watching our show, you can read the good book. We're going to hand tracks right. of that out to the camera yes. people, because I saw how they were acting last <laughs> night. Hey, look, we got a gift. We always like to get gifts. Let me cook and cheap. This is nice. Look at this. This is oh, a fancy boy. pot holder. Look at that. Is that colorful? Now, if you got a color television, oh, this it, is purple. I, I and, thought it huh? was a pot holder, but it is. No, it's not really. Here it's, it's a here's what it is. Oh, my name is McNamara. <laughs> no, it's a trivet. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. What is uh, this? Is from, from Sue uh, Vernon and Marie Benson. Where are they from? Doesn't say. Where does it say on the outside? Where are they from? Right here it is. Here it is. Uh, Petersburg. Petersburg, Virginia. I believe they sent us some other stuff uh, before. Yeah, probably so. I believe so. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. And we'll use the box over and over again. Well, you know, last year when we started out, we started out with a candy recipe that mm. everybody, everybody in the world it. wanted. Everybody loved it. So we thought, well, why not? People like candy so much, we'd make some candy this year. Now, this Is that what day, we thought? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, this day, there are... <laughs> Uh, two recipes that people sent in. Oh, great. Some of you sent recipes in for this candy, and so we're going to be doing those. Let's okay. go over. Okay, then we shall. To the we kitchen. Shall. We shall. To the old kitchen we go. Mm -hmm. Kitchen has new uh, linoleum oh, yes. or congolium or whatever it is this year. Oh, it's mighty nice. And uh, it is wonderful. Ah! And you're stepping my on my, my mic foot. cord. You have burnt my foot. <laughs> Well, it looked pretty bad to begin with. <laughs> well, it did, didn't it? You want to start yours first? You want me to start oh, mine? Oh, why don't you go on? Because you got something. more to do. I have something called nameless candy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always a little suspicious about something you call Who nameless candy. Well, it was sent in by... Uh, What's that guy's name? Oh, wait a minute. It's over here. Ruth Scard. Ruth, thank you very much. We From appreciate Clintwood, it very much. Virginia. From where? Clintwood. Clintwood. Clintwood, Virginia. Yeah. And this is nameless candy, Laban. And 
What we're going to do is we're going to start out with a half a cup of milk and a half a cup of butter. A half a cup is one stick, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Is it's that right? right? It's a quarter of a pound. Oh, dear. Oh, wait, it it's a right half a cup yeah. right okay. on the side. That's a whole stick of that stuff. You may want to use margarine. You may want to use real butter. Mm -hmm. I use a combination of both. I'm going to stick that down in the pan. We're going to start melting it up. Down or up. Or whatever. Or whatever. <laughs> oh, the stove is so clean, but it's still been out. Oh, shape. how humiliating. I have already filled up my cup with something. Well, here, just put them right uh, here in my. <laughs> well, wait a minute. You'll That's have right. to put I'll them in another container. Dump that out there. We're going to use that in a couple of minutes. That's my <laughs> first mistake of the season. Already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the stove's working. That's real good. So, uh, one stick of uh, margarine or butter and a half a cup of milk. Well, I believe one of the boys in the back's got the croup. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. it sounded right bad. Uh huh. Sounded Somebody like take some kind of animal got loose down in his system. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody take that boy some throat lozenges. Two cups of sugar. Now you mix all of this stuff first, uh -huh. okay? Yep. Very first thing. Two cups of sugar. I'm going to try and use up some of the sugar. We have discovered down through the years, you may want <laughs> that we have somehow amassed about 52 pounds of sugar down through the years. Yeah, that's flour there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we got a lot of flour. Oh, we got sugar and but flour. But we got plenty of sugar, too. Yeah, we do. So anyway. It's a mess up there. So we're going to try and... Nobody. Oh! Lord, that sugar has got hard on us. I believe it. <laughs> Something <laughs> wrong with the sugar. Excuse me. Now, sometimes you have to get a little rough in the kitchen. Yeah, because we don't like to throw it away just because it's got we hard We keep it on. over. This yeah. has been here since the first season, I do believe. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, it's not as bad as those onions. Two cups of sugar <laughs> or seven lumps. Look at these there onions. There we go. These onions have been in here for months and months now. There they are. <laughs> yeah. All right, two cups of that. Put that in there, too. Two cups of sugar. Ooh, you know this is going to be good and sweet. Did it have bugs in it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. No, I hope not. And four tablespoons of coca. Coco. Coco. Imogene. <laughs> Imogene coca. And I got some of that. We didn't have any coca, did we? No, we didn't. When we took not our little. Not a bit. We do now. All right, now we're going to take uh, how much? Four tablespoons. I think that's what I'm saying. Then, a tea. <laughs> you want to count along, Laban? No. Three. For, <laughs> I figure you at least could count to four. <laughs> four. Here we go. Now, what we're going to do is going to bring that to a boil. And when it comes to a boil, we're going to boil it for one and a half minutes. And then we'll then we'll get back to the real excitement when mm -hmm. we add some other things to it. So right now I'm just going to heat it up and you can start whatever you want to start. Right. Well, get into whatever you want to get into. Do whatever you want to do. Francis Diamond of Goshen, Indiana sent us this recipe for peanut butter kisses. Goshen, so, <laughs> Indiana. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you start off with some peanut. Oh no. Oh they have sealed that oh, so that a child yeah. hasn't been into it and poisoned it. Mm -hmm. Can I borrow that knife? Well, I reckon you can if you want oh, to. Have mercy. She promised to I be just, real nice about it. You know, I know, I know, I don't want to die, but the it's seal so sometimes aggravate the absolute life out of it. It's me. got so that old people like Laban just can't get into them anymore. What's really bad is when you have to have something in the morning, you know, and you just get up and you, you go to open up a new <laughs> jar of pain. Oh, medicine, is that what you're talking about? All right, now this is a 28 ounce jar and I gotta have 16 ounces out of it. Of the fine butter of the young peanut. Well, I guess this is- A lot good. of young peanuts gave their life now, let's to see. that jar. This would be about, oh, I need a little more. A minute and a half, it says. Hmm. I reckon that's enough. Hmm. All right, now I've got two cups of peanut butter and I've got to have one and a half cups of dry milk. And incidentally, this is a coffee cup, but we did measure it ahead of time to see that it does indeed contain a cup. This is one and a half cups of dry milk. Okay. And a cup of honey. And I found a, a cup size honey jar. 
Uh, oh, sorry, didn't mean to lick my fingers. Oh, hey, this has started boiling. Ladies okay. and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is an exciting moment of the program. It has started boiling, and I now have to boil for a minute and a half from right now. And I'm mixing the peanut butter and the dried milk and the honey together. And, gosh, this is sort of weird. Francine, honey, I hope you haven't let us down. I didn't try this out ahead of time, so I hope you haven't let us down the garden path with this stuff. One minute. And counting. <laughs> boy, this thing is, boy, that thing is boiling. I wish we had one of those little scrapers. That honey, orange blossom special. 50 seconds. <laughs> this is rather dramatic, don't you think? Uh-huh. It says a minute and a half, precise. She's very precise about it. I hope I don't burn it. How fast can you boil something like this? I don't know. Well, I guess either you do or you don't. 33 seconds. 30 seconds. What are you doing again? I was just tasting something and fell out on the counter. You know what? You we know, had some guy who was a chef in Washington said we were the most unprofessional well, two people to ever see in the kitchen. We're going to read his letter. 15 seconds. Pretty soon. And we'll tell him a thing or two. 10 seconds. 9. Eight, seven, six, five, four. This is the way they count down here. It's six, three, two. Uh, that's it. Take it off. All right. Now you remove that from the heat after a minute and a half, and because uh, you don't want it to boil anymore. And then in a couple of seconds here, we're going to add. Well, I take. I, I better go on ahead and add the rest of it while it's real hot. Don't uh -huh. you think? I yeah, need this. I'm kneading my mixture now, and it might take. A At this hot. point, you take two cups of quick cooking oats. All right, and that's like the instant stuff, <laughs> and put it in there raw. That's what you told right. me we're going to do. Take that and stir it in, raw. This stuff has already got the uh, raisins already in it. We're going to add <laughs> some raisins to it anyway, so I just went on ahead and got some with raisins in it and saved a step. And you're going to open up your peanut butter. Oh, Lord. Give me that knife. <laughs> I can't. This peanut butter has been hermetically sealed. I don't know where it for is. For my health reasons, to protect me. I'm sick of it. Now what you do is you take a cup of peanut butter and some of this, this where are we, this? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, I lost my camera there for a minute. Has on the side, you can't see it because it's just real indelible. But it has the measurements. It has the you just sense it, it's, right? It's none done. I don't think it's saying it's got enough powdered milk in it. I'm gonna put, put a cup in. of it in there, and if on this one you can go by the side of it, it has it written right on the side. See those little things? Yeah, you can see it. That's putting out a darling picture, isn't it? That's lovely. Is uh -huh. that that ikigami? Anyway, uh, the hoochie. Well, anyway, now we're gonna take about a cup of that and put it in there. And you got to fold that in while that stuff is hot. Otherwise, it'll just sit there like a big knot in your throat. And I'm going to stir that thing like crazy. And that's it for right at the moment. Well, I'm still kneading. I think I had too much peanut butter and not enough milk. So uh -oh. I'm kneading my... He's already in big trouble already. Well, you know, what can you do? Nothing. <laughs> Ain't nothing you can do. Doesn't say how long you... I guess you just stir this as long... <laughs> what are you doing? I guess you just stir I'm this... I'm to Miss Maureen. <laughs> <laughs> now, here's what I would suggest you do. Being an old candy maker from real... <laughs> far back. What are you laughing at? You being an old candy maker. The old candy maker. Well, I've lost it. Okay. Ten minutes. Oh. <laughs> okay. Might oh, take me that long to find everything we got here. What I tell you what's a good idea. Take whatever it is. Now, you either use wax paper like he's going to do, or I would suggest you take yourself a fine plate like that and take a little of the butter. And just let me show you what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to... Wasn't there a movie? Well... Mm -hmm. Don't you have to put some raisins in it or something? No, 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 no. Uh, oh. Now, we're going to take this... Where are we? Oh, there we are. <laughs> We're going to take this and put it in the refrigerator and cool it a little bit. I'm going to stick it in the freezer. Yeah, just stick it in the freezer, Bly. <laughs> and by the time this stuff is ready to drop, <laughs> or me, 
That, that'll be nice and cool. I'll cool it off instantly as we drop it, okay? Oh, this is looking wonderful. Mm, mm, mm. I think that's what it looks. All right, that's it for me. Well, at, now here's the best part. One more thing. Here's the best part. <laughs> I get to eat all the rest of the peanut butter. Go ahead. Well, now, I'm, I'm just breaking off little pieces of this peanut butter. Well, you know, that looks like it has a right good consistency to it. Mm -hmm. Is that the hard ball stage or the, the soft ball or I the baseball this stage? This is the, uh, the soft crack stage. I believe it. Uh, I've just got a teaspoon of this stuff here, and you roll it up in your little hands. Just roll it and roll it, and you can make a little log, or you can make a little ball, and then you get it over here in the in the coconut uh -huh. and lay it out. Mm, lay it out. This looks like it would be real easy to make for a holiday. I, although I don't know which holiday would be right. Which one is the peanut butter traditional peanut butter holiday? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I could answer the question, but I just don't know, and I furthermore can't tell you. Well, while you're doing that, because you're getting to the repetitious stage. Well, I'm just trying to make enough so everybody can have a Let taste of it. Let me taste the oven. dough. Let me see if the dough tastes real good. Are you, do you going to bake this, or no, is that no, it? No, no, that's it. Hmm. This is it. They are made. Well, I'll pass remarks off on it at the end of the program. I'm oh, not even going to give you a hint. We were hoping you would. Well, I guess maybe no. we ought to look at the ingredients. The ingredients would be good. The ingredients would be great. Nameless candy. That's uh, two cups of sugar, half cup of milk, uh, half cup of butter, four tablespoons of cocoa. <laughs> that's what it looks like to me. Two cu That's spelled correctly, but I never could figure out how to pronounce that. Two cups of quick cooking oats one cup of peanut butter, and raisins and coconut. Now, the raisins and coconut you can add at the end. However, I already used raisins, pre-raisined oats. Mm -hmm. So, you could add probably a lot more. Talk about your kisses. Uh, well, my peanut butter kisses from Francis and Goshen. Two cups of peanut butter, a cup and a half of dry milk, a cup of honey, and a half a cup of coconut to roll them in. And you can't miss with it. And this is a wonderful recipe for the kids to do. Now, what I'm doing now is I'm taking this stuff and dropping it. <laughs> That's what it's called, you know, when mm -hmm. you do this. You take it and drop it. Yeah. It doesn't look very thick to me. Well, but that's what it, I think you needed to have more raisins and coconut in it. Well, you just, you do. Yeah, I think that's what well, it was it optional. You didn't need to oh. use them anyway. Hmm. So that just goes to show how ignorant you can sometimes be on this program and still... Hmm. Uh, Listen to that. <laughs> I'm just kidding him. I wonder He's if an old-time friend of mine. Shoot, a uh, monkey. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if we should have used another kind of oats instead of instant. Well, I don't know. You it's think just quick cooking, quick are cooking different oats. Now, here's from where instant? we here's where we come down to a matter of interpretation. Right. What does quick cooking oats mean? And we're going. This does is it gonna, mean the, the regular oats that you cook real fast on top of the stove? I don't know. You know, we're going to be doing a viewer's recipe on a lot of shows this year. That's why we encourage you to send in a recipe if you would like to, and we might do it on the show. But that's one of the problems. People aren't very specific. You know, what's a large can or a mm. big can? Yeah. You really need to specify well, the number of ounces. Here's a big can. Turn around, uh, Laban. One. No, I'm just joking, but anyway. Insulting no good. Well, now, you know, still, even at this point, if you'd want to make little fancy things, you could put raisins on top oh, yeah. of it and what have mm -hmm. you. But they prefer that you kind of mix it in at the end oh, of it. Oh, well. I'm going to go ahead and drop some more of these so all the boys and girls <laughs> here in the studio can enjoy uh, this marvelous dish. You know, some people, I'm sure, will want to know about our dear aunts, the Cook sisters. Aunt Maisie? Oh, the yeah. Cook sisters. Toots and, and that, sister. And that crew. And uh, we want to let you know that we hope in a few weeks that we'll be able to talk to them. They, well, shall we tell people what happened to them? Well, go on ahead. It's well, sad. they're both in a home. Oh, Miss Witch, we're not ready for you yet, honey. Get out of here. Get back up there. The Cook sisters are in a home. How humiliating. Maureen has humiliated <laughs> herself again on the first program of the season. They were trying out wrestling. The, <laughs> the Cook sisters were trying out recipe, uh, recipes. They were trying out wrestling holes on one another, and they got double broken hips. So oh, they're no. both they're both in a home. Double hips. But we hope to talk to them on the telephone in a few weeks. Mm -hmm. 
Now, 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 I think uh, Miss Witch. Oh, it's time <coughs> for Miss Witch. I believe Miss Witch, <laughs> and the lovely and semi voluptuous and ever popular Miss Witch, has a. <coughs> She's right frisky on the first program. Come here. There she is. Here, Blind, you want to read that? What? Hey, look at this. I'm so thrilled. This stuff does. Oh, hey, look. It, oh, it is. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Look. Pull it's along. doing up there. Look. Hey. It's uh, amazing. Hey, hey, you. Yeah, isn't that wonderful? It's starting to set up. Now, it's, if you were to take that and set it inside a refrigerator for a couple, just a couple of minutes. In fact, mm -hmm. I think I'll do that. I think I'll do that. <laughs> okay. Let me read the letter. This what? is so much fun. I think we'll do this again <laughs> next week. Dear boys. Um, mm -hmm. Boy, it is cold up here in the mountains. It's so cold that the pine cones is falling off the tree like the old saying about the monkey. <laughs> That's uh, real good. Mama whipped me the other night. Is that what no, it is? No, nipped me. Nipped me the other night. Well, maybe she whipped her. To see if if an I was still hot reminded me, do y'all have any recipes for a... Uh, Nippy. Nippy Day, <laughs> Buford Cow Bottom of Mount Airy. Well, you know the cow bottoms have been big fans of ours for years. <laughs> right. They are utterly amazing. <laughs> Terrible. Well, we will try. As a matter yes, of fact, we'll come up with recipes to, for a nippy uh, day. Yes, uh, yes, indeed. Uh, food for a nippy day. That's so right here. Next week. Anyway, well, are we ready to try I this? I think we song? are. We ought to go over to our... i tell you what I suspect. What? I suspect that our viewers have done a good job for us. And you want to know something, too? What? I suspect that we've done a good job for our viewers. Ugh. I think we've done well by the recipes. I believe we need some nappies because we're going to be getting this all over our hands. Well, that's why God gave us shirts and aprons to wipe stuff on. And that's why God gave you cleaners. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you so much. Yes, you're welcome. Well, I'll get. I'll trade you one of my. See, they're they're perfect. Look at oh, that. Oh, look. They are. They're mm -hmm. perfect. Let me try one of these gumballs that you've made here. Tui. <laughs> no, they're great. Mm. They well, really that's are. real tasty. They really are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. A little soft. And take that and put it in the fridge for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So and they both of these, yeah. firm up a little. But I think mm. a little plate full of these would just be wonderful after dinner. I think a little mm -hmm. plate full of these mm -hmm. for dinner would be wonderful. That's, this oh, may boy, be what I'm going to eat tonight. Mmm. Mm. I don't think we mm. made a mistake on these. No, and you know, these aren't so horribly sweet. They really aren't. These peanut butter things. Mm -hmm. That chocolate mm. sure was good. I wonder if this one, are you ready yet? Oh, it is. It's just crying for me. These are real good. I'm just yeah. sorry you weren't here to eat them with us. It's true. It certainly is. I guess it's time for us to say I, adieu. I guess it is. Adieu to you. And we hope to see you again next week for all the frivolity and fun here on Cook and Cheap. Bye. <laughs>